An excerpt from Teaching a Stone to Talk by Annie Dillard. We are here to witness. That is why I take walks, to keep an eye on things. And that is why I went to the Galapagos Islands. They become especially clear. The Galapagos Islands are just plain here and little else. They blew up out of the ocean. Some plants blew onto them. Some animals drifted aboard and evolved reared forms. And they are all there, whoever they are, in full swing. You can go there and watch it happen and try to figure it out. The Galapagos are a kind of metaphysics laboratory almost wholly uncluttered by human culture or history. Whatever happens on those bare volcanic rocks happens in full view, whether anyone is watching or not. What happens there is, and precious little it is, clouds come and go in the round of similar seasons. A pig eats a tortoise, or a pig doesn't eat a tortoise. Pacific waves fall up and slide back. A lichen expands. Night follows day. An albatross dies and dries on a cliff. A cool current upwells from the ocean floor. Fishes multiply. Flies swarm. Stars rise and fall and diving birds die. The news, in other words, breaks on the beaches, and taking it all in are the trees. The Palo Santo trees crowd the hillsides like an outdoor audience and face the lagoons and lava lowlands and the shores. I still think that, I came, that if I came to life, came back to life in the sunlight where everything changes, I would like to be, to come back as a Palo Santo tree. One of thousands on the cliffside, on those godforsaken islands, where a million events occur among the witless, where a splash of rain may drop on a yellow iguana the size of a dachshund, and 10 minutes later, the iguana may blink. I would like to come back as a Palo Santo tree on the weather side of an island so that I could be myself, a perfect witness, and look mute and wave my arms to pray, pray without ceasing.